One of the most important parts of your metal roofing installation is the trim and flashing. So today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we're gonna show you how those pieces are made in a sheet metal fabrication shop. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and every Wednesday. We have been going through a standing seam metal roof installation series, if you've been following the channel, on Adam Mazzella's house, and today we're talking about trim for his project, how it's created in a sheet metal fabrication shop. So let's go over to Matt Lane with Metal Construction Solutions and Installations, and he's gonna demonstrate exactly how those pieces are made. How you doing today? I'm Matt Lane with uh, Metal Construction Solutions. Uh, we've been in the metal working industry now, at least I have been for, gosh, let's see, 28 years approximately. So we've seen a few things. Today we're discussing uh, metal roof flashings on your house, uh, how they're fabricated, uh, what the process is for making them. I guess you've got two different ways you can go. If you're putting a metal roof on your home, you can buy a metal roof package, say you're gonna put a, a classic rib panel down or an agricultural panel down, a lot of times you can buy that panel. Uh, you'll get a brochure that has a bunch of standard details. You'll measure your house and just purchase what they make as a standard detail. So you'll have a ridge flashing, you'll have rake flashings, and you'll use that system. And hopefully if you look at everything right, those uh, pieces work for you. Uh, you've got other ways you can do this where you have a standing seam roof put on your house. The man will come out, they'll, as they're putting the standing seam roof on, they'll have flashings made when they come out. They'll measure specifically the parts they need for your details, whether you're doing a, a rake detail or a ridge. Uh, today we're probably gonna be fabricating our closures for the top of our sheets, our ridge, which is something we've had to measure, the drip stops for that vented ridge as well. So when we went out, we were working on Adams, we started sheeting, we were able to get measurements on where our upper sheet closures had to be. Um, and then we're just transferring all that to our drawing. We've got the pitch of Adam's house. Well, we've got our closures drawn in here. We're able to take the measurements for our ridge cap and trans translate that into you know our fabrication. So that's what we're gonna do today. So the process in which we uh, make these flashing starts out really essentially with a piece of flat stock. Uh, we'll get it as coil sometimes, but very often just a four foot by 10 foot or 44 and a half is a pretty common measurement by 10 foot long piece of flat. We'll take that piece of flat stock, we'll put it in a, a machine known as, commonly as a shear, in which we can dial that in. Say uh, Adam's got a bunch of pieces at 13 inches. We'll set a backstop at 13 inches. We'll slide that piece of metal in, push a button or, or uh, very often a foot pedal, and that shear will come down, that'll cut that. We'll take that metal from the shear, bring it over to the brake, and then we'll uh, bend that up. Uh, the ridge cap that we're gonna bend here has, a half a dozen bends in it. So we'll have to measure those, mark those, use our rulers to position that, and we can set the dial gauges on our machine to make the bends you know, come down. If we need a 10 degree bend or a 70 degree bend, we can you know, make those what we need. to making flashings you know there's a lot of typical designs uh, we've got our eave trim we've got gable end trim there's several different ways to do your gable end trim based on how you want the home to look when it's done um, what the weather type warranty may require um, for a sheffield metals example a lot of their information we can go out to their web page go to the panel profile and we can take the specifications what they have for different details for your eaves for your ridges for your gable ends and the detail is right there on what we're specified to use. Now that detail will change slightly, obviously, with the pitch of the roof 
you know, where the roof sheet comes into the gable end. But what they require for their warranties is they're online and we'll pull our details from there. Um, some jobs are a little more specific, you know, and we'll have to measure things out, you know, more accurately and come up with some custom uh, details, which in the case of a weather type warranty, if it's not one of the standard details, we'll have to submit that to Sheffield Metals and get it accepted in order to be able to use that. And they're really good to work with as long as we come up with a detail that's gonna work, they're happy to work with us on that. Thanks, Matt, for demonstrating the process for us. If you wanna see how that metal roofing trim is installed on an actual project, make sure you click subscribe. We're gonna be demonstrating that very, very soon. Comment down below if you have any questions, and as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.